We'll talk today about this new generation of office, where office is a service first. We'll continue to make office available as an application in traditional ways, but the office that we'll talk about and show you today and, and really explain is the first round of office that's been, been designed from the get-go for office to be a service, and you can see a little bit uh, of what that means. We've transformed in this process office also to embrace some of the same design concepts and principles that we've showed you in Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 and in Metro. I would tell you this is the most ambitious release of Microsoft Office that we've ever done. We continue to do a product, and yet we're clearly focused, starting today, with Office as a service. And you'll see that uh, over the course of the demonstration. We continue to support our enterprise customers, but in this session today, we're going to show you all of the things that are there for in office for consumers and end users in their homes and what people want to do every day. We'll have separate breakout sessions to talk about office and its new capabilities, uh, specifically in the enterprise environment. We'll talk about how office is transforming because of the platforms, the new uh, systems and operating systems and hardware that it can support. But we'll also have a focus today on new application capability, new scenarios, new things people can accomplish with Microsoft Office. The fact that we're changing all of this at the same time, moving to Windows 8, embracing service first, driving new scenarios, and really doing first class job for consumer and enterprise, that's what makes this wave of Office the biggest, most ambitious we've ever done uh, in our history. Uh, starting essentially immediately, for those of you on the webcast, literally immediately, you can go and start trying the preview edition of Office. The one that we encourage you really to take a look at is the Office 365 uh, preview, which is available uh, at office.com, and I'll come back and give you some particulars later. But this is available for testing, for trial, et cetera, beginning. Uh, immediately uh, as, I, as I speak. What are the characteristics of this new wave of, of Office products? What we really would tell you is Office 365, the new wave of Office products, are designed to be your modern office. You say, what does it take to really support people when they're trying to be productive, when they're trying to communicate, when they're trying to collaborate. What does it really take to support people in a modern way? Number one, gotta focus in on the most modern devices. And so we've really thought through and designed this new wave of Office with Windows 8 in mind. We'll run on other releases of Windows, but what you'll see today really focuses in on being designed with and taking best advantage of Microsoft Windows 8. That means supporting touch. That means supporting inking. That supports uh, the new Windows 8 visual style. That means running on ARM architecture devices, which is an important thing we started talking about about a year and a half ago, and you'll see coming to fruition. It means for some of the office uh, modules, it means embracing uh, the new Windows application mode. Not the, just the desktop mode that everybody's grown up on, but starting to embrace for certain experiences uh, the new Windows RT surface. It certainly means embracing the new Windows Phone, Windows Phone 8. And so Office is really designed with those things in mind. Your modern Office thinks cloud first cloud first. That's what it means to say Office is designed as a service. You can just click and start running Office immediately from the service. Office uses the cloud to remember what you were doing and where you were and what your preferences and favorites are, your documents and how you're working together with other people to collaborate uh, on those things. 
and we need to support that for people in their individual lives, their private lives, in addition to supporting uh, enterprises in their business persona. We've made social a first class part of the modern office. One of the things that is certainly true is the way people work today is dramatically different than the way people worked when I started at Microsoft. I got to Microsoft, one of the things we did that was big to differentiate ourselves in 1980 was to put give everybody a private office. I think that's a great concept, but it's not a uniform concept. And certainly people today work, whether it's the style of their physical office or their virtual office, people work in much more social and collaborative ways than ever before. And you see that reflected in this wave of office. The embrace of Skype, the ability to work on projects and collaborate together, whether your people in an enterprise or a PTA group that wants to come together and iterate on a project. We need to facilitate that kind of work. We need to let individuals in an organization band together and then work together where appropriate under the administrative control of the enterprise. That was the key kind of concept for us in terms of the acquisition of Yammer and embracing Yammer as a social infrastructure for people to work much more collaboratively. And hopefully you, you see that today. The last thing that I'll emphasize in a modern office, and this wave of office is certainly modern, is that there are scenarios that have become more and more important uh, and more and more able to be attacked with digital technologies today than ever before. Meetings. Today, meetings are still largely done with physical techniques. Sometimes people will have a Skype or go get a big, fancy, expensive kind of uh, uh, teleconference room. We think the opportunity to use digital techniques to automate meetings is amazing. The modern office really takes great strides down that path, and you'll, you'll see that today. Notes. Outside of journalists, most people still take notes on pencils and papers. That is not the most digital of approaches. And no matter how many documents get distributed digitally to how many people and how many organizations, the, the record and the markup and the annotation uh, on those things are still done largely in non-digital form. The modern office embraces annotation as a first class activity, and you'll see that in the demonstration today, uh, particularly through the embrace of this next generation of hardware. In the modern office, not only do you take notes and mark things up and draw digitally, but you consume most of what you consume also digitally. We all know that viscerally with web pages, and yet the amount of documents and PowerPoint presentations, et cetera, that still get printed out is quite high. And so facilitating the online consumption of information uh, is a very important threat for the modern office. 